Hi friends, have you ever been really sick? Maybe you had a tummy ache or a headache or a cold or a sore throat. What usually happens? Maybe you have to go to the doctor. Maybe you need to take some medicine or take naps or just rest. In our story today for Jesus time, there's a girl who's very, very sick. But unfortunately, there's no doctor that can help her. The name of the girl's dad is Jairus. And he is looking for Jesus because he knows that Jesus can help his very sick daughter. But Jesus is too late and Jairus' daughter dies. But guess what? Jesus still has almighty power. It never leaves him. And Jesus uses his almighty power to raise the girl from the dead. So she was dead, and Jesus made her alive again with his almighty power. Let's listen to that story about Jairus and his daughter. One day, a man named Jairus came and knelt before Jesus. Jairus needed Jesus' help. Jairus said, Jesus, my young girl is sick so sick that she is dying. Please come to my house and make her well. So Jesus went with Jairus. While they were on their way, some men came from Jairus's house. They said, your daughter has died. Do not bother Jesus anymore. When Jesus heard what they said, he told Jairus, don't be afraid, only believe and your daughter will be healed. When they came to Jairus' house, they saw many people there crying. Jesus sent the people out of the house, and then he went into the room where the dead girl was lying. Jesus took the girl's hand and said, Young girl, I tell you, get up! Right away, the girl stood up and walked around. Her mom and dad were surprised and happy to see her alive again. Give your girl something to eat, Jesus told Jairus and his wife. Jesus had used his almighty power to make the girl come back to life. So there's Jesus, and there's Jairus and his wife, and there's Jairus' daughter. She was very sick, and so Jairus said, knew that Jesus could help him by helping his daughter get better. But as they were walking back to the house, they said that she died. Did that stop Jesus from going? No, nope. he said, don't be afraid. Only believe and she will be better. When they got to the house, there were so many people outside crying. And Jesus said, you can go. He went to her room and he said, young girl, get up. It was like she was asleep. And she got up right away. How did her parents feel? They were happy and surprised. And Jesus said, give her something to eat. Well, how did Jesus do this? Did he have special medicine? Did he bring a doctor? Nope. He used his almighty power to raise Jairus' daughter from the dead. Wow. Jesus is so powerful and almighty. We have been singing, My God is so great, because he's been doing so many miracles. How about we do a different one? How about we do Jesus' love is a bubbling over? Jesus' love is a bubbling over. Jesus' love is a bubbling over. Jesus' love is a bubbling over. Hallelujah. Hmm, love is a bubbling over. Hmm, love is a bubbling over. Hmm, love is a bubbling over, hallelujah. Hmm, ha, bubbling over, hmm, ha, bubbling over, hmm, ha, bubbling over, hallelujah. Hmm, ha, sh, over, hmm, ha, sh, over, hmm, ha, sh, over, hallelujah. Ha shwoo, hmm, ha shwoo, hmm, ha shwoo, hallelujah. All right.
friends, I have a prayer that we're going to say. I'm going to say it and then you're going to repeat it after me. Thank you, dearest Jesus. Thank you, dearest Jesus, for watching me each day. For watching me each day. Keep me safe from harm. Keep me safe from harm as I work or sleep or play. As I work or sleep or play. Amen. Amen. That prayer was asking Jesus to keep us safe whatever we're doing. Whether we're doing our work for school or playing with toys or while we're sleeping, we asked him, Jesus, to be with us and he will be with us. All right, friends, remember, Jesus loves you.